We are back with a brand new video. What is good, Heat Nation? Unfortunately, I don't have much good news for you guys because we just lost to the San Antonio Spurs in Miami. The, the San Antonio Spurs, who I don't even know what their record is, but they are definitely, I'm pretty sure, either 14th or 15th in the West. They might be they might be 14th because they just won today, to be honest. The thing is them and the Rockets who are like the two worst teams in the West. Yeah, they won today, so they're eight and eighteen, which makes them 14th. If they lost today, they would have been tied for 15th in the West. They suck. We lost to them at home today. And for those who are wondering, oh, why didn't you make a video when we beat the Clippers? Because we but we beat the Clippers the game before this. I know my team too well, bro. I know that I cannot get too high when we win games, especially with this team right now, because there's always a disappointment waiting to happen. Um, and did I expect us to lose this game? No. But like, I probably should have, because every time we play a team that we're supposed to beat, we lose. And that's the same story that's been that way for I don't know how long now. But we play up to our competition and we play down to our competition. Two teams the Detroit Pistons and the San Antonio Spurs, who are both awful. Like, the, the Pistons uh, the Pistons are 15th, um, and they have the worst record in the NBA. Uh, the Spurs are not too far behind. They have the third worst or the, the, the fourth worst record in the NBA. They're 14th in their conference. And we lose to both of those teams. The Pistons one was not even close. The Spurs one came down to the final shot, a couple of missed threes, but... This game should not even. Should, this game should not even have been a contest. Like to 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 even like start with. Like we should have wiped the floor with this team. This team is trying to tank. This the Spurs are trying to get the number one pick, and we lost to them. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how. Um, Devin Vassell had 18 off the bench. Romeo Langford with 19. Keldon with a 21 piece. Zach Collins with 16 and eight. Um, he outplayed Bam coincidentally and then for the heat it was literally jimmy with 30 and then tyler had 23 23 as well but um if jimmy butler is not playing well i don't know where this team wins games i'm sorry like if jimmy butler is not playing well I, I see zero chance of this team winning anything um whether it's even making the playoffs or anything like that because he is literally the whole team at this point like you know we can talk about all the other guys we have but jimmy is the he's he he is the he's the energy he is the team he's the culture and in these last two games he had to will us to victory against the clippers with some tough fourth quarter shots that he he makes i mean that's jimmy butler to you but tonight baffling late game two minutes left i did not see jimmy butler touch the ball this guy had had, had 30 points on up till that point and he was carrying us um but for some reason, with two minutes left in the game, we the, the ball did not touch his hand once, and we started running a bunch of other nonsense, when, which which led to a bam miss fadeaway. Um, we fortunately got a five second violation, which we only got that because it's the Spurs. They're an inexperienced young team. If this was any other team, the game would have been over after that fadeaway by bam. They, the, the other any experienced team would have knocked their free throws down. Game over. Boom. But the Spurs are so bad that they gave us a lifeline and they gave us a second chance to win. So what do we do? Coming out of the timeout, we're down two. Hero, the ball is in his hands. Should the ball be in his hands? I don't think so. I think it should be in Jimmy's hands, but cool. Hero's probably the second best shot creator on the team. So the ball is in his hands. He takes a contested step back three. That had zero chance of going. I, I, I knew that shot was not going in as soon as he took it. I was like, what was that shot, bro? A contested step back three, top of the key. He wasn't even at the three-point line. He was a good five, six steps behind the three-point line. And, um, yeah, he missed that shot. But the Spurs do us another favor and don't get the offensive rebound. Bam gets the rebound. And at this point, there are like four or five seconds left on the clock by the time Bam gets the rebound. I think when Hero shot the ball, there was nine seconds. Bam gets the rebound. There's four or five seconds left. He has a, like, not nah, it's not wide open, but he has a very, very simple putback layup or dunk. Nobody on the Spurs is able, should be able to stop him from getting a putback basket. 
Zach Collins is not a center. He's a power forward who's playing center for the Spurs. He's no match. I know he had a good game tonight, but Bam should be going up with that. We're down two. I don't get what the infatuation with the three-point shot is with this team, but every time we're down two, we don't need to go for a three to kill. We can tie the game, bro. We, 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 we don't need to go for a three. We're playing the Spurs. We're not playing Boston. In the Eastern Conference Finals last year, I understood. They went for a three because they were exhausted and they wanted to go for a kill. But um, we're playing the Spurs for, for crying out loud. This is a team that's one of the worst teams in the league. You take your chances against them in overtime, especially at home. But no, what do we do? Bam kicks it out of Caleb Martin. He hesitates for a couple of seconds. Then he has an open three, bricks it. Game over. We take a, a second long, a second too long to foul. That's whatever. That's fine. I'm just nitpicking at this point. But the main frustration comes with number one, why did Jimmy Butler not touch the ball in the last two offensive possessions? Number two, why did Bam not go up with the ball when the offensive rebound was there? Number three, what was that shot by Tyler Hero? Number four, the defense was terrible. I don't even talk about the defense. The Spurs shot 54% from the field. 54% from the field and out-rebounded us by 14. There's the game right there. We forced more turnovers. We forced eight more turnovers. Uh, we shot better from the three-point line. Um, free throw percentage. I mean, we, we did fail to knock some free throws down. We missed eight free throws to their seven. Um, but it was the rebounds and it was the field goal percentage. We couldn't stop them. In the, they had 54 points in the paint. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I don't understand where how, how you let a Spurs team that has zero, like, I no disrespect to Keldon. He's a very promising player, but he's not a scoring option, like, He's not, he's not a scorer. Keldon Johnson has never been a scorer in his life, except for maybe when he was in middle school. In, in college, he was never a scorer. In the NBA, he's never been a scorer. He, like we, we let a lot of these guys go out of their element, and it's the same thing with the Heat. We always let some random dude kill us. You know, Romeo Langford, he's been a disappointment since he's been picked after Tyler with the 14th pick by the Celtics. Tonight comes out and has, has one of his best games of his career. He goes crazy with 19 and 6. So it's like, bro, like, it's just frustrating at this point. Like, I, I, I'm just getting very tired of saying the same stuff in every video. Like, I, that's, that's, that's the thing with me. I tweeted this. I was like, bro, I don't want to make, I don't want to make a video about the same things over and over again. Like, I wish I could make a video right now about the Heat being on a four game winning streak because that, that's what we should be on. We should have beat the Pistons. We should have beat Memphis. We beat LA and we should have beat San Antonio. We should be, we should be on a four, actually a five game winning streak if we count Boston's win. Unfortunately, um, we are we 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 we've won one of our last, I think four, and uh, yeah, we're sliding right now. We're I don't even know if we're in the play-in. We're 12 and 15, um, which we're very fortunate. We're still the 10 seed. Um, in the West, we would be the 12 seed. Like that that is where we're at right now. So yeah, this team is not good. Um, there's a lot of issues in the post-game press conference by Spo. He said sitting Max Struess for the second half was a coach's decision. I don't know where that leads us because that that is just concerning at that point because like Oladipo, I understand you still you have him back now, but like he has his moments, but Victor Oladipo is not the same player he was before. I think we all have to accept that Oladipo is just, you know, he. I don't even think Oladipo is like even like a, 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 a 20th or a 30th of what he was before when, when he was an all-star. Like, he's an okay player, but Oladipo is not saving the bench, bro. He's not the sixth man. He's, 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 he shouldn't be... You shouldn't have to put the pressure on Victor Oladipo to be the sixth man for this team, especially when he's coming off of an injury. That's unfair to him. That's unfair to this, to this team. And, um... Yes, yeah, Struess, you know, I don't know what's going on. He's been sliding his past couple of games. He's been look. He looked terrible. He missed a ton of shots. Um, and yeah, I mean, this team is very reliant on three point shooting. And this, if the shots are not falling, like there's two things that can help this team win. It's three point shooting and Jimmy Butler going crazy. If both of those things happen, the Heat are gonna win. 
Like, if, if the three-point shooting is really good and Jimmy Butler goes crazy, the Heat will win almost every game. But we know that's not going to hold up. Like, the three-point shooting is not going to be as consistent um, as, as we've seen, like, in this season. The Heat's three-point shooting is, like, bottom 10 in the league this season. And Jimmy Butler, you can't expect him to drop 30 a night. Like, that's, like, that's unrealistic, bro. You want Jimmy Butler to save that for the playoffs and not get gassed and gas himself out. Um, so, yeah, like... It's, this team is very flawed. It has next to no athletes apart from Jimmy, Caleb, and Bam. Uh, the size is a big question mark. Um, the sixth man role is a big question mark. I mean, these people put... Their plan was to put Tyler into the starting lineup, and they completely neglected the fact that they didn't replace him. Who was going to fill the void? Were they expecting it to be Gabe Vincent? Because they're in for a very big reality check if they were. Um... This team just has a lot of issues, man. I'm not, I, again, I'm going to say the same thing that I said after the Pistons game. We just have to lower our expectations. We cannot, you know, we can't get too carried away when we win. Um, and, you know, we, we, we just have to, like, be aware that as presently constructed, this team is extremely mediocre. And that is the worst spot to be if you're an NBA team, is to be in, in, in mediocrity. Because you don't have a high pick but you also don't really have a realistic chance of winning a championship. So we're back in the middle, man, and they have to figure it out. They, they got to pick a direction, and they got to go all in either one or way. Like, wh wh either, either all in as far as trying to make a big-time trade. I don't know what that's going to be. Or m maybe we have to talk about blowing it up because the direction that this team is in right now when, with, with, with the amount of bad contracts that they have and how they're just stuck in this middle of the pack purgatory this season. It's not looking good. It's not looking good at all. Well, we're going to wrap it up here, man. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. I'll see you all later as always. Peace.